Hey, welcome to Flame Stacker. My name is Mercy Poteet. I invented the Flame Stacker. And uh, we're going to show you from start to finish when you order one of these, what it looks like when it gets to you, and then the different parts and what they do. First thing you have to do is take the cover off. So it's better for two people on most of these things. <laughs> now, this is the extinguisher barrel. This is what you use to put the fire out at night. Set this over it and contain the fire, sparks, and everything. <laughs> Work table for cooking or whatever you want to do. This little tool, this is the wrench. You just put it in this hole right here, and then you pick up and turn. We love to eat food, you know, cooked over open flame. If you see some scratches, this is what yours will look like, you know, after many, many uses. This is a stainless steel screen, so it'll never rust. Right now it has kind of a, a brown tint to it. That's just uh, from the fire. And you can take a plastic hard bristle brush, a little soap and water, rinse that down. Never clean any of this with a metal brush. And this is the ash pan. Like I said, this has been used many times. So now there's only one way, one direction that the ash pan will go in. Just drop it down on the ground and look back and you'll see some tabs underneath there and those tabs direct the ash pan to go underneath it so just put it down and push it and when it gets as far as it can go look here in the top and you'll see it's perfectly centered and that's all there is to put an ash pan in so then the ash ash plate you just stick the ash pan tool right through the middle this is the concave side so just stick it through and picks it up it won't fall off and hurt you then look down in there and you'll see three tabs are sticking out but anyway put them on two tabs and then just drop it that's all there is to it no bolts no screws no hassles show you how to start a fire yeah just take a couple of you only need just a few pieces see What I do is I use odorless charcoal lighter fluid. And then just drop this down on the rest of it to uh, get started burning real well. And after it's burning real well, then we'll just dump firewood in there on it, no placing it or poking it or fooling with it, just dump it in there. You'll see that in just a few minutes. Well, the stopwatch here, how long it takes to get a completely smokeless fire. Here in just a few minutes, we're gonna have a smokeless fire. Now this is exactly how carefully you're supposed to put the firewood in here. <laughs> That's all you do. The more random, the better. This is the draft lid. The way this is designed, it gets plenty of air all the time. So, as you can see, it's smoking like everything right now. But in just a very few minutes, that this damper is going to concentrate the heat so much that even this amount of smoke here is going to go away completely. It's, it's still smoking, uh, but it's supposed to. It takes a few minutes. I want to be very clear uh, about a safety factor. This little process, it's only about 18, 22 minutes, somewhere in there, and you'll have a completely smokeless fire. Do not give in to the temptation to put uh, some accelerant on there. Don't use diesel fuel, kerosene, gasoline. It's It just takes a few minutes for this process and it's safe like this. If you, you can't use any accelerant and be safe. It's very, very dangerous, don't do it. This stainless steel bumper, it doesn't transmit, transmit heat very well and you can't really fall into it without trying, you know, look. It just kind of holds you back and it doesn't burn you when you touch it. Look here, 25 minutes right now. And we have a completely smokeless fire. Fortunate enough and had the great insight to buy one of the grills, so it's an option. So we're gonna show you the grill and gonna do a little cooking. Ready to cook over the open fire. These discs here, these are three discs that come out 
and they are laser cut so they're very close fit and they're easy to get out you just take your wrench and whack them pop right up put a little uh, cooking oil or Crisco or something on that it'll stay spinning around really easy slide it in there and can't fall out but if you just want to use a flat grill then you just put it over like this you want to cook on just the open fire instead of this part just slide around to the side now you got open flame so this is extremely hot and you have to be careful not touch that I don't like to cook with that open but you obviously can do that if you'd like to I mean you have to make sure that everybody understands this is hot so right here you can cook the other way to do it of course is just to, to close this and uh, you're going to have some grease that's going to drop down on this and it's self cleaning it won't hurt a thing this is the safe and the, and the best as far as easiest not have to worry about anybody touching this the grease is going to fall down on this and it's just it's just a piece of mild steel not going to hurt anything and it'll be self cleaning after everything's cooled off the next day you put some oil on it wipe it off it's fine just like a anything like a, a grill right. surface this is not a grill surface don't use this as a grill surface if you want to put a big old skillet on top of a big cast iron skillet do that but don't cook on this because it'll start stopping up these these stars and this is a draft and, and they, these need to stay open. And pull the little hinge pin end out. There. And then your hinge pin goes back. Now I can't fall off. Convection oven. Over here so that you're not over the fire. Hamburgers, hot dogs, steaks, whatever you want to cook on a grill, you can cook it on here. Not only that, if you want to do some slow cooking, kind of uh, smoking without smoke, <laughs> you can put something in here like a turkey or a Boston butt or whatever. Close this and just let your fire die down to coals. Thermometer, and you can watch that go up really fast. Get the hamburgers and get ready to put them on, and we'll eat something. See, so you wanted to stay for supper. Mm -hmm. Don't blame you. So these are jumbo um, hot dogs, and they're real easy to turn with this. You know. All you have to do to turn them is just push them to the next space over, you know. And if, you know, it falls through the crack, you just need to get bigger hot dogs. These are jumbo kosher hot dogs. That's what I like, all beef. Anyway, you get whatever you want. And then this is uh, hamburgers. So to speed this process up, the cooking process, we're gonna use a convection oven part as well. And you'll be able to see the thousand degree thermometer. You'll be able to see the temperature go up pretty quick right here. And we'll have some real good hamburgers and hot dogs here. We're going to open our convection oven part and just finish them up with an open grill. grease all over but that won't hurt a thing it'll burn off and then the next day or whenever you want to just take a rag wipe it off never put paint on that it's toxic you don't breathe those fumes don't paint anything in here you can paint this outside part with some black engine enamel high temperature but never paint the screen or anything in the middle here and certainly don't ever paint this stainless steel up here so a few more minutes, we'll be ready to eat. Thanks for staying with us. Hey, well, welcome back. 
I think it's time to eat. Let's see here what we got. Oh boy. This looks pretty wonderful. Let's see, these hot dogs are just right, aren't they? Oh yeah. Now, after seeing all this, if you have any questions, just call Mercy at Flame Stacker. Go to the website. If you'd like to order one, we'll order one. You can, uh, let's see, what do they do? Oh yeah, you gotta like us and subscribe to our channel and all those things. And, uh, you know, I might even bring you one personally. We'll cook out. God bless you. Have a good rest of your day.